Well, hi everybody. Sometimes attentions needs to be paid to the dump truck. Let's do that now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel today in this super, super horsepower boosting episode of JT's today. Now guys, I, uh, you know my old grain hauler here, if you've been following along, you know I've had this truck for about two years. And uh, I've done a little bit to it here and there. But guys, there's always been one spot where I, I just, you know, that let, let's, let's just start from the beginning. Let's say this. Truck runs okay. It's always ran okay. But it's never ran great. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can just tell it. Maybe it ain't hitting on all six all the time. Now, that could be an arrangement of things. I mean, this is a 50, 60, it's old. It's 64. Not the original motor, but... It's still a 401 and they, you know, 60 to 66 is about kind of the cutoff for 401. So she's definitely that old. So who's to say it doesn't have the valve seats pounded out of it or the rings are wasted or, you know, there could be a lot going on with this thing. I don't expect this thing to be a huge powerhouse, guys, because according to the DOT, I can only haul 39,050 pounds with this truck. <laughs> with the weight of the truck, of course. <laughs> Let's just clarify. Nevertheless, so no, I don't expect it to be a big powerhouse, but like I said, guys, she's always run just okay, and it's never run perfect. And I thought maybe uh, I could try something a little different on that. Let me show you what I've got going on here first. All right, let's just dig right in here. So guys, you know, I've done all the obvious things here. Now I did switch this to a Petronix. HEI type ignition system, so it does not have points and condenser anymore. Timing's been adjusted every way but from Tuesday to see if I could get it to maybe give it a little advance, take a little away, whatever, you know, just to see if I get it to run a little better than it did five minutes prior. And basically, long and short of it is nothing really makes much difference. The only time that any difference is made on the way this truck runs. Obviously, I put these new plugs and wires in it this year, too, thinking maybe that was a good idea. wasn't a bad idea, but it didn't make much difference in anything. But I always wondered if this uh, little carburetor I bought here was maybe two sizes too small for this motor. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. This was a 79.95 Kung Fu Burator straight from eBay. And... Uh, you know, granted, guys, I think if this were a maybe a 3.8 liter V6 and not a 6.6 .6 liter V6, that little carburetor worked pretty good. And, uh, you know, just thinking outside the box, there are times when I've been here working on this truck with it idling, and you just pour the brake cleaner or carb cleaner or whatever substance you have right to it, she smooths right out and runs like a bullet. So long and short of it, that tells me this thing's always been running fairly lean. Now, for any of you old school carburetor guys out there, I know there's a few of us that are still out there. Notice I said us. I have a vacuum gauge, and I have put a vacuum gauge on this. It doesn't matter how I adjust it. I cannot get it to hold 14 inches of vacuum at all. The best I could get was, oh, I don't remember. I, did, I tried it last fall after, uh, after wheat was off and before soybeans went in. Seems like it was in the neighborhood of 10 or 11, but I don't don't hold me to that again. I don't remember But I got something I'm gonna try here Okay, so like I said guys, I I, I got curious My thought was that carburetor probably on a good day and I mean a good day is maybe 300 CFM maybe On a lot of these uh, forums like 60, 60 to 66.com, or I don't know if that's what it's called, but I sneak on these forums and I got to read stuff once in a while because it doesn't hurt to learn if you can learn something. I thought I've seen where these guys have started putting 500 CFM two barrels on theirs trucks, and the 500 seems to be the uh, carburetor of choice. For those engines and so i thought hey 
Why not? So, here we have got all the plugs and everything in it already. Manual choke, that's just dandy. That'll work just fine. A 500 CFM, brand new, fully restored, eh, two barrel. Oh, look at that. I even got my little sight window so I can adjust my float setting, should I have to. So that's a good deal. So what do you say, guys? We just stick this, you know, let's, let's do a carb swap, you know. Let's see, uh, let's see if this is the answer. So, you know, guys, worst case scenario, it doesn't make it run any better. But I don't think it's going to make it any worse either. And for the little that I paid for this carburetor, it's well worth the try to swap it out. And the other one won't go to waste. I've needed a smaller two barrel before. Hey, I'll have it sitting on the shelf for next time if I need it. So let's get started. And guys, they do offer you a couple different jettings for it, 195s, 205s. With that being said, I now have no idea what's inside this carburetor as they have sent me nothing to go with it. So your guess is as good as mine. Let's just bolt around and find out. Good enough to give me some nuts and bolts, a little bit of hardware. They gave me this paper thin gasket pre bent for my convenience. Yep, that's going right on the truck. Sure thing. Okay. So, everything I need blocked off is blocked off. I've got a choke cable I can use. I need to tighten this guy up, get a screwdriver, get a half inch. Yeah, easy peasy. You know, guys, got to give credit where credit is due. Sure ain't nothing to working on this old bugger. Oh, he's... Oh, Jesus, Murphy. Let me try that again. There ain't much to work it on this. I have more danger of falling off the truck or losing tools than I do of actually having it be hard to work on. So, <laughs> good Lord. Oh, well, that's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she goes. I figured I would. All right, come on, you. That a girl. Okay, let's maybe stop that from pouring gas right down in the top of the engine there. Nice, okay, good enough. Now guys, I'm gonna just continue to use this thick Felpro gasket that I put on here before, because I don't think that other gasket I got is gonna do me any good, and if it, yeah, this is what we're using. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh shoot, I forgot the paper towel. Don't move. That's better, let's get that out of there. All right. Bet you that's gonna work better already. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, now we can. What can we do? We can put him. What is that? Okay. Yep. Yep. If we can get some of these nuts started. Well, don't worry, Cable. You'll get your chance, too. There. 
Guys, if I could give you any advice, if you like it, take it. If you don't, well, whatever. You got to get the sweet spot of adjusting your carburetor mounting bolts because too tight and you can warp stuff. Too loose, you lose vacuum. There, for now, I kind of like the way that feels. I can always come back and tighten it up a little later. Or not at all, depending on how it runs. We'll find out. know where that's going so I guess for now let's get him right out of the way we'll just manually close the old choke here for a minute and uh, let's go twist the key and see what happens Well, guys, this seems to be running pretty good. It seems a little responsiver, resp more, resp more responsive. Yeah, let's go with that. More responsive than it used to. So what do you say we just fill the air filter on and just take her for a little rip, see how it runs down the road. Let's maybe make sure we got enough gas in the tank before we go ripping down the road too far. Oh, plenty. Got a quarter tank. It's good enough for me. All right, let's go for a spin. All right, guys, well, I guess.
main difference with the bigger carburetor. It'll be interesting to see how much difference it is fully loaded. guys I guess I can't call that a gigantic win but I can call it just a small victory because yes my truck does run better did that fix all the problems in the world that it ever had nope nope not even close but you know what don't care still my old grain hauler it still does me oh look who come to join us what did you want to go for a ride too maybe you need to do your job I thought I saw a squirrel or something running through there so like I said guys not a huge win but definitely a small victory where is she going Huh. Goofy cat. But nevertheless, now, if any of you guys have been watching me for a long time, seems like I'm shifting that truck a lot better. 50 or 60 trips to the elevator and back would get you running at 20 speed, just like a pro. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>